today I'm going to talk a bit about the different uh, types of hair and, uh, and what the different uses are for, for these different types of hairs. First of all, I'm going to talk a bit about uh, this type of hair, which is bucktail. Bucktail is a very nice material, used for many sal uh, salmon, salmon and sea trout flies, but also used a lot for, uh, for, uh, for uh, coastal and saltwater flies. Uh, and it's also a typical material used in uh, in pack flies. It has fairly long hairs, and, and these hairs are rather stiff. So what you can use with this is you can make a wing for like a bait fish, or you can use uh, these hairs to kind of make a, a fly that's that's very wide. Actually, uh, something like this. I have used a lot of bucktail to make sure that this fly um, has has the volume it needs. So that's one of the, the, the uses for bucktail. Bucktail is, is fairly cheap and you have a lot of material for, uh, for a lot of flies for, for relatively small, small amounts of money. Um, the, the way to go, I would say, is uh, if, if you just want to try this out, you can buy a packet with, the, with the, a, a few pieces in it. But, but to get the best quality, you, you need to buy a, a whole complete bucktail, um, which is uh, something similar to this. Even though I have cut quite a lot of, of this, uh, used used a lot of this, so that was bucktail. The next next thing is is goat. Goat is a very long material and uh, and uh, well not very widely used, but it's used for one of my favorite salmon flies and sea trout flies, which is called uh, sunray shadow. It's one of uh, well one of the most legendary flies ever made. It's it's very fairly simple. It's just well black and white goat on a, on a tube or on a shank. Or on a hook, and then uh, a s a small amount of flesh, and that's it. Uh, the trick to that fly is to have a, a very long wing. But goat is phenomenal because it uh, it's very um, it it has its own uh, life, and and uh, even though the fly sun ratio looks rather dull in in your in your box and in your fly tying vice, uh, do not be fooled. It is a complete success as soon as it it hits the water. It's just unbelievable. The next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, is uh, arctic uh, arctic fox. Arctic fox is nice and and probably one of the principal materials used today for uh, for uh, salmon and sea trout flies. Um, it has some some nice uh, nice um, uh, some it's 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 some nice. Uh, how do you say that? It's nice fur. It's uh, and uh, and uh, the material has kind of like two different uh, two different types of hairs on it. It has the lower part, which is kind of woolly, and then the tips, which are are thin and 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 very and vibrates a lot in the water. Have have a lot of life. Adds a lot of life to the fly in the water. Fairly cheap material can be used for most any salmon and sea trout fly, and and very very great and very very widely used. Comes in <laughs> a lot of lot of different uh, different uh, colors. Then um, uh, there is this new thing on the market called. Uh, Called marble fox, which is 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 very similar to arctic fox, uh, uh, but it's long. It's very very long. So what you can do with this that you can't with uh, with the arctic fox is you can make some fairly fairly big flies. This I use a lot for the Danish sea trouts uh, in the rivers because we fish often at night. So you can make a very long wing with this uh, that works great. Um, it's a bit. Bit more expensive, but not that much compared to the Arctic uh, Arctic fox, and uh, it's it's also a bit uh, a bit softer, so it, it moves a lot more in the current. Yeah, it comes in a lot of different sizes, and uh, very very great. Then uh, there is the rabbit. Rabbit is, is one of the materials that has been uh, well uh, kind of taking over almost at least in in Denmark uh, for these past years uh, uh, for sea, sea trout and salmon flies. These sunker strips are very great for uh, for salmon and sea trout flies because they add so much life to uh, to the fly. These comes in a lot of different varieties in whole colors and in uh, in, in it with with the stripes and and all sorts of things. And you can buy a package like this, and you get uh, six or seven uh, s strips of uh, of uh, of rabbit skin, rabbit fur, with uh, with the hairs on it. So you can just tie them. What is important is when you when you tie this that in the end the end of uh, of of this uh, this wing you cut it so that it's tapered because then it will move a lot more freely in the water mm -hmm. um, yeah you can also buy um, 
by the rabbit as, as, as a part of a whole skin and then with a scalpel you can just kind of make your own your own strips and, and, and do them as thick as you want or, or, or whatever. Um, Port has some, some, some of the best rabbit, uh, rabbit skins I've ever seen. One last thing I'm going to talk a little bit about is, uh, is, is, is this, this is Pine Scroll, which is uh, fairly, fairly nice and, uh, and small sunker strips uh, with, with short hairs, which is great for, uh, for smaller sunkers uh, to imitate smaller bait fish uh, like gobies and stuff like that. This is the way to go. Uh, I'm very fond of this material because we have a lot of gobies on, on the Danish coastline and I use this a lot. Um, it gives um, some. It makes some very very nice flies. Well, I think that covers about uh, it about the uh, the hair materials that I use and uh, I have in the shop. Um, well, thank you for tuning in uh, and re remember to subscribe. Of course, thank you.